Hola. A fresh a tape. Kind of random, but I've noticed something. If I start getting mean comments on one of the videos, that's actually a really good thing because it means that YouTube, for some reason, is promoting it in its algorithm. So in other words, much as you might suspect on YouTube, haters are a sign of success. So maybe this will be more for the data geeks and the audience, but this is the subscriber count. The change column is how many I get per day. And you can see it's very noisy, so I instituted a moving average. And that averages, I think it's the last five. And you can see that for the most part, it's pretty much steadily going up, which is kind of nice to see. This is my watch hours chart. It's based on uh, the change column, which is the amount per day. And it's starting to look, I don't know if I'm gonna call that parabolic, but it's definitely got a nice little curve to it. We have tape. So all the views and subscribers and all that crap, actually doing pretty good. This is a David, I'll show you the others. Of course, classic Einstein, the real mainstay of the headphone stand line, one of the first ever designed. We are well on our way to getting that coffee cup done. And I think there's another one after this, so yeah. This filament broke and ruined this, which sucks. This full-size David trash can coming along beautifully. Charco. And there was a thin spot in this filament and I did not notice, so that sucks. This little homie is getting painted today. Had to finish the stand up and stuff, but this is going to be a stunning piece. A beautiful boy. Time to filter more recycled stuff. For longtime viewers, you might remember when I made a new tumbler, kind of got worn out, and this thing has been working very well. Okay, it's time to package the last couple of things. Obviously, giant hammerhead boy. Time for this alien boy to leave the mothership. Time to go to Klein's. That is a full house. Please. You know that Joan Jett really hates playing I Love Rock and Roll? Like, why? The good fiddle boy, but give the devil his due. The coffee crunch your soul. I like how when the devil plays in that song, it just sounds like disco. Apparently the most satanic thing Charlie Daniels could think of in the 70s was like disco music. I'ma let you finish. Gonna eat this spinach. Heck yeah. We didn't brew the coffee. Coffee's a battlefield. Coffee yum. It's been a while. And by a while, I mean maybe 48 hours. Coffee's my best friend. All right, we are getting that sweet, sweet taco meat. I love walking into places with sunglasses on, making everybody think I'm like hungover or something for no reason. Those are just cool. Mexican flag conscious. It's so strange to me how like, look, you're listening to that hair metal, it's strange how much perceptions of something can change. Because, you know, I have an uncle that sort of taught me my first stuff with guitar and he grew up listening to, maybe not Motley Crue, but a lot of hair metal and stuff. And so I could kind of see through his eyes how he perceived music like that and especially the guitar tone and things like that 
like that really compressed thick sound that pretty much every hair metal band had in the 80s that was such a cutting edge and unexpected and unexperienced sound at least at first that it's like just playing guitar with those effects and stuff it sounded new and it sounded extremely fresh and like modern it sounded like a cutting edge brand new thing but now like even you know pretty much any normal guitar sound is very passe we live in a almost a post rock world and not the cool kind of post rock as in a world where rock music is generally from a bygone irrelevant era it's just strange how something can seem so fresh and vibrant and cutting edge and then become extremely pedestrian this is interesting this is where my ac unit is but at the shop somebody's leaving out food and water for some cat presumably if you viewed yesterday's episode you'll remember this little experiment this is connected by wood glue and you can't really see it it's obviously dried in there so let's uh, see if we can pull these apart all right ah Ugh. Well, you can pull them apart, but that was not easy. So I guess this wood glue probably is best for wood, I would suggest, but uh, it should work. I don't know what I would need to glue, but that dollar store wood glue is no joke. Time to polish some of these guys up. Another giant hammerhead. I've been charging my Segway. Um, around here I've been known as Segway guy because I used to not have a car and I used to go only around town on this. But it's getting so nice out that maybe we'll take it for a spin tomorrow or sometime. I meant to do it yesterday, but finally made the giant hairspray buy. Sometimes I get a lot more than this, but five cans is a good amount. Getting close to done, but we're gonna paint some eyes on the Sharky Boy. Time to make bubble wrap, or as I like to call it, buble wrap. Doing a couple of late night Sharkos. Ooh, did a whole bunch of recycling. I don't heat this side or cool it because that would be two electric bills. I mean, I do have an electric bill, but it's very minimal. But I just did a bunch of recycling and it felt great because it's a great temperature outside. Man, I've never had a winter where I was also renting this side. So it's gonna be like very convenient. Well, there's a couple things left to do but we're pretty much done or virtually done around the shop thinking what am i grateful for today i'm grateful that people really like my sharks we've sold a bunch of them and that's nice i'm grateful for my lava lamps they are a very special kind of thrifting trophy tell me in the comments what you're grateful for be anything it could be like you saw a picture of a dog on a skateboard today the internet is full of wonder there's got to be something you're grateful for tell me in the comments peace out